What do you well, want, Doctor? I'm not exactly prepared for visitors. Well, I'm not exactly prepared to go down to the police headquarters. I mean, there'd be so many questions, not to mention the worst thing, that I would bump into Justice Ward. <clears throat> Can this wait till tomorrow? I'm off duty. Oh, I didn't know blackmailers had business hours. Okay, fine. What do you have? This. What is on this? What you wanted, Justice Ward. Saying what? Reading the phone book? No. No, at one point, he even hints that he has broken the okay, law. Okay, okay, listen. I don't need hints. I need solid evidence. So if you'll excuse me, I don't want to catch you. You haven't even listened to this. I don't need to listen to yes, it. You do. Look, if you're going to hand it over that easy, I obviously can't use it. Now, our business is finished. I am not leaving until you promise me that you're not going to call the medical board until you hear from me again. Okay, okay, fine. No, I promise, I promise. You got no, my I word, that's great, I thanks. See you, bye. Oh my God, I have created a monster. What did Monica want? Uh, you know, the usual layoff of anger, boy. She still thinks Morgan's her son, even though he doesn't. Does she often come to your home? First time? I think she's getting desperate. Aren't we all? Are we? Thanks. For what? For being discreet. It's all part of my conspiracy to make you comfortable. Is it working? You didn't listen to a word I said, did you? Every word, loud and clear. I just have a different point of view. You see, nothing that happened here threatens our professional relationships. Well, come on, counselor. Use your imagination. One could actually enhance the other. Okay. I gotta go. <clears throat> Dara. Did you have a good time last night? Guess not. Good morning, Detective. Mackaman? You know, despite what people think, this is not where I work. Well, this won't take a moment. It concerns Alan Quartermain. State your business and get out. I just came by to give you some very valuable legal advice. If you have evidence of a crime being committed by Dr. Quartermain, arrest him. If you don't, leave him alone. Anything else qualifies as harassment. Thank you. How much do I owe you? Oh, that was a freebie. So is this one. One more civilian complaint against you will almost certainly result in your suspension. Not that that wouldn't please me. You know, Ward, you would be amazed at how little time I spend worrying about what would or wouldn't please you. Really? I get the impression you think about it a great deal.
Ronaldo? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't At Luke's, we reserve the right to refuse service whenever we want. How'd you like to be telling that to a judge in the morning? Come on, just give me... How much have you had to drink? Jeez, I mean, have I made you so upstanding that you're giving sobriety tests now? Justice, what's the matter with you? What are you raising your voice about your boss's money for? Ronaldo, get him out of here, put him in the cab. Justice, come on, buddy. Okay, all right, I know, I know. Let's call it Look, I need more time. Can I help it if Justice doesn't answer my phone calls? Yeah, you bet. You can hustle your no mind busy blonde behind back over to Justice's and refuse to leave till he says something worth putting on that little tape recorder of yours. And you better do it pronto, because I have my own phone call to return. You see, that medical review board in Albany, they keep leaving me messages. They want to know the name of the prominent physician. The one I believed was seeing patients and discharging his duties under the influence of unprescribed narcotics. Now, if I have to hand him over our little Rambo Allen, I'm going to have to give him to the DA, too. He will lose his license, he will go to jail, and you'll be able to tell him you could have prevented it. For God's sakes, Justice is a member of the family. Mr. Ward, no, he quit. He didn't think you people were worth his trouble, so why should you think he's worth yours? All right. All right, I will try again. Good. You know where to find me. More to the point, I know where to find you. I would change my world just for you Go anywhere, be anything you want me to I would change my world just for you When I look at you, I can't believe my eyes A living, breathing angel is standing at my side too good to be true Maybe that's what you are Let me whisper to you What I'm feeling in my heart I would change my world just for you Go anywhere, be anything you want me to I'd bring you stardust from the moon Ask the roses for perfume Make the snow fall down in June it's the least that I can do just for you, just for you, just like in the movies when the hero gets the girl, you brought a happy ending into my world. Every time I think about you, I can't believe you're real. I think that you should know just exactly how I feel. I my world just for you Go anywhere, be anything you want me to I'd bring you stardust from the moon Ask the roses for perfume Make the snow fall down in you It's the least that I can do Just for you Just for you Here we go! Make the snow fall down in you It's the least that I can do Just for you Woo! Baby, just for you Wow, it's been a long time since I've been up here, and uh, it feels great. Thank you for that uh, warm welcome. Thank you very much.